78. It is just about closing time in the store. I am, yes, yes, brother, I am in the bathroom. I am in the bathroom doing a quick vlog because my job right now is to clean the bathroom. Uh, yet I am sort of shirking on that duty by doing a vlog at the moment. But the store is... at this time. All right, so yesterday, I had a customer who had complained about the case that I sold them, saying that it wasn't exactly as I described. I was a little annoyed about that, so I, but, but being the good guy that I am, trying to always please, I said, hey, you know what, buddy? I want to make sure that this deal ends up good for both of us, and that both of us end up happy in the end. So I said, hey, I can't do a full refund on the product, because you got what you paid for. And I, I described it almost exactly as I, I could, you know, pretty much to the T. So I said, hey, you know what, though? I will go ahead and I'll do you a song. I will give you a $50 refund on the, on the purchase. And he said, that sounds good to me. And so I gave him a $50 re, uh, refund. And now me and him are just chit-chatting back and forth about computers and about custom stuff that we do and such like that. So, made an email for it. That's pretty cool. Uh, uh, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? I, I'm a little annoyed because I was thinking last night, I realized how much I sold and how much I got back. The return I made, not worth it. I sold two video cards, three desktop monitors, expensive ones. A computer case, uh, an iPad. Uh, what else did I sell? An Oculus Rift. And all I'm getting in return is maybe two video cards and a keyboard. That sucks. That's a huge loss for me. Oh, I mean, I got my brother his birthday gift too, which is good, and I got myself a, a video game, which is a bonus, but I, in general, it's a huge loss. Those monitors are $700 a piece. Those uh, video cards are about four or 500 a piece at the time, and the iPad, you know, iPad's very in price, but that case was $400 when I bought it. I sold it for 100 bucks. That's what I made off of it. Uh, in general, I made about $1,900 off of about $4,000 in product. I mean, yeah, I guess that's a decent return on, a pro on products that are one to two years old, but it, it sucks at the same time, you know? Uh, but all I can do is accept it and go with the flow, I guess. Uh, Still empty. Interesting. Um, nothing else to report at this time, so I am going to end the vlog for today. Don't worry, I'll be back tomorrow. Whether or not I upload it tomorrow, I don't know. Because I have been sort of shirking on that, haven't I? Like, I didn't upload yesterday's vlog yet. Whoops. I just, you know, the drive to do these vlogs every day. <sighs> Nothing really in return about it. I mean, I'm doing this for myself to have something to look back upon. But in reality, what the heck am I going to look back upon? The fact that I do the same thing day in and day out and be like, man, I wasted my life. Yeah, that's what I'm going to see. At least until something important changes. Something important happens, a big step happens. I really need to get back in school, and I really don't want to go back to school, but I need to. Everybody tells me how I need to make that another try at it, another go, take another shot. I mean, inside I feel like it's pointless, I'm not going to be able to do it, but I am trying to convince myself that I can, that if I put another effort in, at least I'm making another effort instead of just not doing it again. Uh, instead of not trying, 
But sometimes after trying and trying and trying and making no progress, it just gets frustrating. It's kind of it's kind of like trying to climb a ladder that never ends. And then you're just like, screw it. You're gonna stop climbing, just hang out where you're at. And then people tell you, no, you gotta keep making progress, but they don't realize that for you, that ladder is a never ending ladder. That you're never making any progress. So it's hard to keep motivating yourself, but I'm trying to keep motivating myself. And I might start school in the spring instead of the fall, but we'll see. So anyways, if you like this video, like, subscribe, do leave a comment of encouragement or a comment. Tell me about your day or what you think of my channel. Uh, I'm gonna be doing some review videos next week. So keep an eye out for those, huh? Josh out.